Hello, my name is Bob Lenberg and welcome to Kinesiology 101. We're looking at the wrist joint, in particular the, um, uh, the movements of radial deflection or radial deviation or abduction and ulnar deflection or ulnar deviation or adduction. There, there are many muscles that cross the wrist joint. We'll concern, our, concern ourselves with just a few here. Um, on the radial side, we have the flexor carpi radialis and the extensor carpi radialis longus. On the ulnar side, we want to concern ourselves with the flexor carpi ulnaris and the extensor carpi ulnaris. The example I have set up is using a hammer. Um, with this movement. It's a little uh, contrived because when you hammer a nail you want to use your whole whole arm. Actually you want to rely on the weight of the hammer so you don't wear yourself out after eight hours of hammering. But that's a, a minor detail. So here if we are um, drawing the hammer back it's the muscles on the radial side which are active and they're shortening and as we forcefully uh, push the hammer down uh, to hit the nail, we are, f we are actively engaging the muscles on the ulnar side. So these become active and are shortening while these are becoming uh, released and lengthening. Thank you.